Good afternoon, everybody. I want to, uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for joining us here today in the city of Brockton. I want to thank the elected officials that are with us today. I know Plymouth County DA, Tim Cruz is here. Senator Mike Brady is here. Yeah, men, let's clap. That's great. Here we go. I know uh, State Representative and Councilor Ladge Rita Mendez is here as well. I know School Committee member from Ward 7, Tim Sullivan, is here. Thank you very much, Tim. One of the Brockton's representation to Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical, Bishop Tony Branch is the chair. Thank you, Bishop, for being here. I know that the Council President, Suda Castro, is en route. She just, uh, she just called me. So um, before we, we start today, um, I'd ask everybody respectfully to please take a moment of silence for uh, Tyree uh, Nichols, uh, who was brutally murdered. If we could remember Mr. Nichols and his family in prayer and solitude, that would be appropriate. Thank you. May he rest in peace. I want to just uh, thank President of the Brockton Area uh, Branch of the NAACP, Phyllis Ellis, for everything she does. <laughs> you will, you'll be hearing from Phyllis in just uh, in a short order. I also want to thank Jamie Hodges and uh, Jasmine Hodges, who are respectively uh, two great Brocktonians that have created the African American Association here in the city of Brockton. I want to thank you both. So people have said to me, uh, Mayor Sullivan, you do too many flag raisings. I say we don't do enough. Brockton's about diversity, it's about welcoming inclusivity, it's about everything that makes Brockton Brockton. And we will, as long as I'm mayor of the city of Brockton, we will continue to do this, we will continue to honor diversity, uh, and everybody should be treated in a respectful, professional manner, and it will happen as long as I'm mayor. So I just want everybody to be clear on that. See, today is, uh, is February 2nd, and again, February 1st yesterday kicked off uh, Black History Month, and what we do here in the city of Brockton is we honor, uh, there's an event, a wonderful event, don't let the little cold that's going to be coming bother you, Saturday, and I know the president will talk about this, but Saturday noontime downtown here at the main library, if you have a free moment, and specifically if you have children or grandchildren or just uh, young relatives, bring them there because it's an education, and we need to continue to educate, we need to listen and learn. And the biggest thing we need to do is come together as one because we are truly better together here in the city of champions. So uh, I just want to uh, recognize that this is something uh, that started last year, uh, the African-American flag raising. This is the second consecutive year. Uh, I know you're going to hear from uh, president of the NAACP to really express the meaning of this, but there's a lot of misnomers that this is, quote, a fake flag. This is not a fake flag. This is duly recognized as an appropriate flag here in the United States of America. So again, this is something to honor uh, all of those that understand the importance of uh, diversity and understand that Brockton is called the City of Champions because of everybody here and those that have passed. And, and again, what we've seen recently in the nation um, needs to stop, quite honestly, just needs to stop. And we will continue to work together as one to create that positivity and that change that's so long, long, long awaited. Um, I also just want to let you know, and a lot of you know this, um, that Brockton is a historical place for the Underground Railroad. Uh, again, William Lloyd Garrison, Frederick Douglass, a woman's suffrage movement, all came here to the city of Brockton. At that time, the street was known as High Street, but now, out of respect for Mr. Douglass, it's Frederick Douglass. And we all know this, and we know about the Liberty Tree, but we always have to articulate the importance of that here in Brockton. We have to always learn from the past, right? Learn from the history to forge ahead to the future, right? That wonderful future that we all seek to achieve here in the city of Brockton and in the county and the Commonwealth and the nation as a whole. So I just want to let you know that um, as someone that is a true Brocktonian, I mean, if you cut me right now, I'm going to bleed red and black. Brockton is uh, special because of the people and the history. And we can talk about Marvel's Marvin Hagler, again, greatest middleway champ ever in the history of the United States of America. And we saw May Lang at the MLK breakfast the other day. We can talk about um, what champions mean to Brockton. But today is a champion effort that we all must embrace a whole entire month, not just one day. But also, it's not just a month, it's 365 days in the year. And Black History Month should be Black History Period. Take out that, white out that, that month, and let's continue to make sure that we set the example and we create the path for success for the next generation. So at this time, I'm going to ask uh, the esteemed 
recognized, award-winning president of the Brockton area uh, NAACP branch, Phyllis Ellis to the podium. Thank you. It rings down a bit. I'm going to talk a little education here. Oh. Oh, Is that better? Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> thank you, Mayor Sullivan, for the invitation. And thank you, Jamie Hodges, for initially bringing this to our light, the uh, African American flag. Um, as a member of the oldest civil rights organization in the United States, and as president of the Brockton Area Branch NAACP, I want to review our position on African Americans and the appreciation of black people yearning and establishing a meaningful relationship between identity and freedom and the symbolism of flags. We have witnessed several flag ceremonies here at City Hall, most recently the raising of the Haitian flag for the national advancement, for the national association of the advancement of colored people, and for most black Americans, the flag of black America is the American flag. Historically, <laughs> historically because of a systematic oppression of our people and the alienation that we felt at times, we sought a way to unite our struggle and ambition for an identity and freedom through various symbols. The flag is a unifying symbol of a people and for black Americans. The American flag was suspect, but never eliminated in our consciousness as our flag. The same way that our identity as a people has gone through many name changes from African to color to Negro to Afro to black to African American to foundational black American, each name emerged at different times and with different attitudes toward a country that enslaved our ancestors and used our free labor for three centuries to build the material and spiritual foundation of the nation's wealth and democratic freedoms. Mm -hmm. Similar then, our identity and claiming flags that evolved as well. Experts in black history have counted at least 13 flags that were created at a certain time, identified as black American flags. The first flag was the Pan-American flag, or the United Negro Improvement Association flag, red, black, and green. It was not created specifically for black Americans. It was to be a flag that united black people all over the world. It was associated with the Marcus Garvey movement of uplifting and sustaining pride in black people. This was in 1920. Black people were fighting for their lives and equality in America and was met with large indifference and token actions. Then the civil rights movement came and forced America to live up to its promise of creed, a democratic freedom. The white backlash tried to stop the American progress from happening. Violence against black advancement increased significantly. The period which started with the civil rights movement was active and created, and many ideas were out there. It was a period that had two compelling forces, universal freedom and black nationalism. The Black Panther Party created a flag in 1960. The animal panther became a symbol of strength and power and action. Later, the black Americans from New Jersey designed in 1967 what they called the Black American Heritage Flag. Then came a black flag to represent Juneteenth in 1977. In the 1990s, we had five design flags representing black Americans, and the last known design was done in 2020 called the Black Foundational American Flag. Black flags, African American flags, have the common thread of collected identity, struggle, and freedom. And they have always been 
in conversation with the flag that belongs to black Americans more than anybody, the stars and stripes. Black slaves who became black freedom fighters during the Civil War was crucial in saving what we call the United States. In 1863, the North, the United States, was losing the war to Southern Confederates whose single aim was to destroy this nation, this Union nation. Nearly three years, Northern white soldiers fought the South and the North, and the North was losing. What then turned the tides for the United States? What, when Abraham Lincoln, encouraged by the abolitionists like Frederick Douglass, William Lloyd Garrison, and Harriet Tubman, to put guns into the hands of black men and to free the rest of the slaves, so the Union could undermine the service work that the slaves were doing to maintain the slave owner's war. Once that happened, three black men fighting in the war. The, little, the tide turned, and because of that, we live in the United States. The fate of the Union was tied to the fate of the American slave that became the American citizen with the passing of the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments, which created universal freedom for black people, people of color, disenfranchised white people. The majority were voiceless men and women, native and immigrant, for a new birth of freedom. Black Americans, their white allies, and their struggles created that possibility and reality. This is why the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People appreciates and celebrates all of the flags created in a spirit of defiance and unity for black people. But our organization and the majority of black people believe that the American flag, which we fought for in the Civil War and was a crucial factor in the survival of a nation that was about to be destroyed, claimed the American flag. We celebrate the other flags the way that we do today when we celebrate, when we raise the African American flag, but black Americans, as some of the oldest Americans, and as a part of the oldest civil rights organization in the country, the American flag is our flag. We claim this flag because we made it an honest broker of renewed symbol of universal freedom and equality. In conclusion, our organization, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, like, and most black Americans, see the American flag as a symbol of transformative doubt, struggle, freedom, and beauty, for which us mirrors the transformative doubt, struggle, freedom, and beauty of black Americans in the history of our country. Again, thank you, Mayor Sullivan, for inviting me here. But I just, wanted, I just wanted to have this opportunity to provide you with our perspective on, on flags. Okay, thank you. That's a champion in our city right there, Phyllis Ellis. We're so lucky to have her. I want to, uh, I want to at this time, also recognize um, Councilor Jack Lally from Wood 6 for joining us here. And I know Susan Castro, the Council President, is here as well. At this time, I'm going to ask, uh, I don't know if it's Jamie Hodges or Jasmine, whoever's coming up, but I would, I would welcome both of you or all of you or, uh, to just come up and, and say a few words at this time. Thank you. Good to see you. Okay. Hello, everybody. So I'm going to put this up. So, as many of you know, my name is Jamie Hodges, and I'm the president of the African American Association of Brockton. Alongside my sister, we are overjoyed and excited to be able to stand here and witness the second annual African American flag raising in the city of Brockton. Black History Month is my favorite time of year. It is a month that I can sit back and reflect on everything that my predecessor, predecessors accomplished and witness the effect that it has on me today. I know President Phyllis Ellis gave a little history, but I got a little, little bit of history about what each of the colors represent. So um, the Pan-African flag was created in 1920 to represent the people of the African diaspora and to symbolize black liberation in the United States. As flags symbolize the union of governance, people, and territory, this flag was created to give black people in America and in the world over a symbol that unifies the diaspora. 
The tricolor flag consists of three equal horizontal bands colored red, black, and green. Red symbolizes the blood that unites all the people of black um, Africa ancestry and shed for liberation. The black is for the people whose existence as a nation, though not a nation state, is affirmed by the existence of the flag. And the green is the abundant and vibrant natural wealth of Africa, the motherland. In November 2021, the African American Association of Brockton was created to promote and spread African American culture throughout the city of Brockton. Since 2021, African American Association of Brockton has hosted two successful events. Those events being the Black History Month Expo, which we held last year in February 2022, and we hosted the first annual Juneteenth celebration in the city of Brockton. On February 25th, 2023, from 7 to 10, we're going to host a 90 skate to celebrate and honor Black History Month. This event will be open to the public and it's $10 for admission and $5 for skate rentals. We are in the works of planning our second annual Juneteenth celebration that will be held at the Brockton Fairgrounds again. Um, more information will come soon. You can follow us on social media, AAA Brockton. I also want to thank Mayor Sullivan and the Mayor's Office for honoring Black History Month and raising the second annual flag. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. You know, uh, when we do these flag raises, it, there is a lot of prep work. It's not just putting a pole and hoisting a flag. So I'm gonna ask everybody that works in the mayor's office to please come up to the podium. We have Kevin and Jasmine and at the newest room, Suzanne. We have John, we have Jay, best chief of staff in the United States of America, Sydney Marinette, Kamaya. Anybody that works uh, on the mayor's team, please come on up here. Um, we have two proclamations. Um, the, the verbiage is the same. Uh, but at first of all, I just want to thank, this, this is what Brockton is. Look at this, diversity, this is Brockton. I want to thank them for what they do every day to better Brockton. Uh, we're going to continue to make sure that people realize that City Hall is, is their home, it's their building, and it's these folks that come here every single day that are truly making the difference. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you, and definitely thank you. That's the eye of the tiger today is what she's telling me. <laughs> One thing is, though, I wanted to present this to, to, to Phyllis and, 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 and to, to the NAACP and to, uh, to, to Jasmine um, and... Who wants Jamie? Oh, yeah, Jamie. I'm sorry, Jamie. Well, they're twins. I get confused. Come on. I'm a Brockton guy. Jesus. But I do, I do want to just present this. And again, it is, uh, it's not a citation. It's a proclamation. And it's going to go to each specific group, to the uh, Brockton area, NAACP chapter. I want to thank Shirley Azak, Councilor Azak, for being here as well. Thank you, Councilor. I, uh, and again, to the African American Association here in the city of Brockton. I also want to thank Lady C&J for this wonderful little treats over there as well. And she did tell me they're calorie-free, keto-friendly. <laughs> so have at it, have at it. Proclamation, whereas during Black History Month, the city of Brockton celebrates the many achievements and contributions made by African Americans to our economic, cultural, spiritual, and political de development. And whereas the observance of Black History Month calls our attention to the continued need to address racial injustice and continue to improve community relations that symbolize our demographic ideals. And whereas the city of Brockton continues to work toward being an inclusive community in which all citizens, the key word is all citizens, are respected and recognized for their culture and the ways they the ways in which they enrich our city, our commonwealth, and our country. Whereas the city of Brockton is proud to honor the history and contributions of African Americans, again in our fine city, the city of champions, Brockton, Massachusetts, the commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the entire United States of America. Now therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of our fine city, hereby proclaim the month of February in our city of Brockton as Black History Month, and I respectfully urge all residents within our city and those without uh, to join me in proudly observing this month. I sign and seal it the second day of February in the year 2023. Again, this is going uh, to both the NAACP and the African American Association. So at this time, I'm gonna ask anybody and everybody, please, let's come over here and let's collectively as one proudly hoist this flag.
I also uh, want to recognize she's a duly elected official too for the Democratic City Committee here in the city of Brockton, Deb Garland, for your leadership as well. I want to thank you. So that, um, and I do want to thank all the department heads that have joined us here today. I see quite a few of you here, and a lot of residents in our fine city that are here as well. Uh, let's continue to work together, let's continue to be respectful, and let's continue to be the positive change and set the example here in the city of Brockton. Let us truly be an example for the nation. Thank you. God bless each and every one of you. God bless the United States of America. Thank you.